based on the feedback that we received in 2022, the majority requested to see our amazing business result, us, how we are doing our sales process. And no problem, we'll show you. I'm sorry, first of all, that I'm recording this video from my Mac. The office is right now under renovation. We had a major leak, so, you know, we're doing what we can do. I hope that the content uh, will give you some value. So usually the, the sales cycle starts with someone booking a meeting. And usually people will go to our website or they will fill a form or they will go with a quick meeting. Uh, we prefer a quick meeting and therefore we put it on the top of the page and the majority of the people actually book appointments and not going through the lead form. Whenever they will go to Calendly and they will book an appointment in Calendly and I know what you're thinking, you're saying, why? So we'll have Zoho bookings, why are you going to Calendly? Because it's better, okay? So I'm going here to Calendly and I'm booking the appointment. Whenever the appointment will be booked, it will automatically create in the system a contact, which is the person who filled the Calendly. It will create an account based on the company of the person, and it will also create a deal for me. Now, the deal is created based on our number one selling product, which is the sales automation package. When people coming from other companies and other developers, usually they're failing. And whenever they're failing, we want to make it in a different way. We want to succeed. And in order to succeed in my business, we need to architect a good solution. And this is what we are doing. Now, 90% of our sales will be the sales automation package. And therefore, whenever a deal is being created automatically, it will be automatically under the sales automation package product. Whenever the deal is created, the system knows based on the uh, Calendly booking, it knows what is the account. We have multiple banks account and different corporations in different countries. The system needs to segment so it can know with which Zoho books account to work with because we have multiple banks and multiple corporations and multiple finance systems. So the system knows based on the person where to go, based on the rules of the company, the system will suggest the right currency and also the books account. It will pre-fill some information that you will see here. All that is being created automatically by the system. For example, the product type will be sales automation package. It's a fixed price project with the prices and so on. Everything is being created automatically for me. Whenever I am on the meeting, basically now is the meeting time, I will click OR on meeting held, which means the person is right now with me on the meeting. If he is late, I will click on late for meeting and he will receive a text message or an email with uh, the information of the meeting so he can join. In the rare occasion that there is a no show, we click on no show and the person is getting an email about it and he can reschedule. In our system, for example, if someone is booking twice and is not showing twice, uh, it will have a low rating in our system and therefore it cannot book appointments anymore. Or we have, for example, the close lost and then we need to decide why this uh, uh, opportunity was lost. Let's go with meeting held. Here I will write, let's say, the information of what this person is interested in. I will have some information here based on the deal and everything as you can see is already pre-filled for me. So it will take me like 10, 15 seconds to write the comments, basically what the person needs and continue. The next step will be or that the person wants to proceed and then I will create SOW or uh, it will be closed lost and then the deal is dead. In my case, let's go with create SOW I'm verifying that the details that I have on file are perfect and everything is good. Uh, the street say, uh, state code and all that, uh, we are receiving using usually use, using data enrichment. So it's part of Zia, which is the Zoo Artificial Intelligence, and it's retrieving the information. If I don't have it, I will ask it during the meeting with the client or from the website. Okay, and that's something that is ready for me when the meeting is taking place. When I click on save, next I will need to produce a proposal. The proposal can be or manually or automatically. 
let's go right now with the manual, manual route, route and this is a native integration with pandadoc so when i go to send with pandadoc the system will present me different templates and let's go with this template for now just so you can see uh, some options and each template that you will have will represent a way of working with the client in this case i will have an agreement uh, the name of the agreement is being pulled from the deal it will have all the information pre-filled automatically for me with the agreement and the right link and everything is in place I will have a way here also to have a credit card information whenever the person fills the credit card information on this page it will be copied into the account and from the account it's being pushed to Zoho Books and the credit card is stored and we can use it I know that some companies having problem with copying this information to Zoho, to Zoho Books but believe me it's possible and we're doing it and here you will have the rest of the information of this specific deal Another option, it will be to go here, which is much simpler, I guess. Uh, we build here a custom button and here, for example, we can generate the Panda proposal. When we click on it, the system already knows based on the product. It knows which, which proposal to choose, which template, preloading the information. And you can see I did nothing and I got to this page. So that's very quick and easy. I just review all the details. If I'm happy, I will send it. This is a different template than the previous one that I showed you. This one will not have credit card details. In this case, we are collecting the details in a different way. But as you can see, it's doable. Now, if I scroll down, you can see that you have here the draft proposal, which that's the one that you can edit so if you want to edit the proposal you click here or if you want to send it to your customer for signature you basically will use this link of course we have email templates that uh, they're being sent automatically to the client and will saying if you want to proceed with the project please click here sign the proposal whenever the proposal is being signed that automatically will go into the attachment and from the attachment it will go to our work drive folder now, just so you know, except of the proposal phase, we also automate million things in the background. As an example, our meetings are taking place online and we have recording for them. We like to upload the recordings to the client's folder. Therefore, we need to have a work drive folder that's being created automatically with different subfolders. One of them will be meetings. The recordings will go to this special location. We will also create the account on Zoho Books in the relevant account. We currently have multiple countries and multiple banks accounts and multiple Zoho Books. And the system knows how to connect to the right one. And that means that you can have one Zoho One account with multiple Zoho Books that are working with your CRM. Many people say it's, it's not doable, but I can tell you we're doing it and it's doable and it works perfectly. In addition, we also work with Zoho projects. All the projects are being loaded to Zoho projects and being created automatically using templates. So whenever, for example, a sales automation package project is created, it will assign different tasks to different team members because there is lots of work behind this product. It's being uh, created and sending information to all the employees so they can start working on those deals. So basically everything that we're doing in the company all the admin side is automatically done for us we only need to verify and that's in rare cases most of the time we trust the automation so much that we just let it go that's it that's what i wanted to show you if you need help with your panda doc or zo obviously contact us we can help you uh, the majority of the companies we work with will be from 10 employees to few hundred employees that's really the range of most of our clients Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.